adding multiple integers. So how do we add multiple integers? Well, when adding multiple integers, we're going to rewrite all the subtraction signs and apply the rules of addition from left to right. So ultimately, you know, generally, we're still subtracting integers. But if you notice, steps one through three, we have to input a addition sign. So you can say that we're adding. But what if we have more than just two variables? What if we have A, B, and C? Well, we can rewrite and regroup the same expression and not change the, um, the total, the, the final outcome. All right. So multiple integers and subtractions, we're going to rewrite 3 plus 3 minus negative 3. How do we notice that minus sign? Well, we're going to use the subtraction, the subtracting integers rule. That rule that we've been learning for the last three, four videos. So we're going to change this minus sign into a positive. All right, so we have 3 plus 3. Now, this subtraction sign is going to change into a positive, into a plus sign, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to find the opposite of negative 3 which is positive 3. Positive 3 now takes the place of the negative 3 in the original value, as you see. And what we're left with is 3 plus 3 plus 3, which gives us a grand total of 9. Alright, let's uh, rewrite another uh, expression here, or another equation here. And we're going to use 4 integers this time. We have 10 minus 5 plus 3 minus 25 okay now we're gonna follow the subtracting integers rule that we just learned right we're gonna drop the first value the menu in 10 okay and we're gonna change this subtraction sign into a positive let's go ahead here boom now we're gonna find the opposite of 5 which is negative 5 so now we place the negative 5 right here. All right, moving along. This positive sign it stays the same. Perfect. And it, the now we drop the new menu in, which is 3. And we're going to change the next minus sign into a positive. Here you go, positive, right? Now we're going to find the opposite of 25, which is negative 25. Negative 25 right so basically 10 minus 5 plus 3 minus 25 when we rewrite this expression we ultimately get 10 plus negative 5 plus 3 plus negative 25 okay let's let's continue forward now it's simple it's simple arithmetic at this point reading from left to right as it states you see this right here well this changed okay this one right here this also changed this plus sign and the only one that's still the same was the original po uh, positive sign from the original equation all right now we can go ahead and do our next regrouping here all right 10 plus negative 5 equals positive 5 all right and now we just simply bring all of the other values down. So we got 5 plus 3 plus negative 25. That's our next regrouping there. Okay. Now we go ahead and we solve 5 plus 3. We're going to call that we're going from left to right. 5 plus 3 is 8. So now we have 8 plus negative 25. All right. That's our next regrouping. Next is just basic. 8 plus negative 25 giving us a grand total of negative 17. 